Welcome to Brian Beeler's Round Em Up. It's going to be November 27th for sale. Over 50 different 1962 to 1967 Chevrolet Nova. This search request comes from multiple subscribers to our channel. Like these subscribers. If there's a classic car you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe, drop in the comments below, then making the model, and we'll round them up for you. Thanks for tuning in. And first time viewers, you heard that correctly. We are looking for cars that are currently listed for sale for you. This one you see right here on the banner, it's not the only car we found for sale, but it's the one I would go check out if I was looking to buy a 62 to 67 Chevrolet Nova. So let's get started. It's going to be Facebook Marketplace. It's going to be Craigslist. I don't own any of the cars, but I have put them in price order from lowest to highest. We're going as high as 10 grand. Going to kick off on Marketplace. 1964 Chevrolet Nova Hardtop. 1500 bucks. less than 20 weeks ago, Tennessee. Coming with a two-door. Like the looks of that, so there's the description that says 64 and 65, four door cars at 65 post, red cars, parts, fixed, 1500 firm. Can't get fast enough, it's been here 20 weeks. Can't sell them up without titles in Tennessee? Probably that's the catch, I don't know. You have to reach out and contact him, but what a great way to kick off an episode for a 64 pair of 64, 65 Novas for 1500 bucks. Give me a 1964 Chevrolet Nova. $1,750 on this one. Definitely don't have any floor pans left in it. It's a no title, too. Can't get paperwork for extra money. Body don't look that bad, even though the floors were gone. Still got the six-cylinder in it. And we do show a couple four-doors on here. This is going to be located in Texas. Doesn't say how long it's been on here. You'll find it on our 64 Chevrolet Nova on Facebook Marketplace. 1964 Chevrolet Nova, 1800 on the money. This one's been out here 23 weeks, California. It's got a summit description with, <laughs> I don't know, 64 four-door decent shape rebuild, asking $1,800. I doubt they got a title for that either. It's going to be in California on that one. 1966 Chevrolet Nova parts car. We've got over 50 cars. Going to try to keep this episode to under a half hour. It says 1966, that's not the price. They're parting this thing out. So that's a deceiving price right there. Looking for a parts car. Nebraska. That's where it's located. For the 66 parts. So our first Craigslist ad. It's going to be listed as Project Nova Classic 62, two grand. And it's going to be located in Seattle, Washington area. See it right. It wants two grand for this one. It says clean title. It's a four door. It's all together with six cylinder. It might run and drive. There's a description if you want to read it out. It's posted 28 days ago. He updated it two days after he posted it, 26 days ago. Seattle, Washington area for the four door 62. Got a BM shifter in there. So back to Facebook Marketplace, the 1966 Chevy 2 Nova, two grand, listed 11 weeks ago, Tennessee. It's going to be our first one. You can't get there fast enough. Back half's rotted off, but he's got a title. So if you're looking to put one back on the road, always start with a title is always a good thing. You can always find a better parts car, four-door car to chop up, right? 66 Chevy 2 Post, lots of work done, back half's rusted out. It's got rust everywhere. Has a title, two grand or best offer. It's been here for 11 weeks, Tennessee. For the two door 66, it's routed up pretty good with paperwork. I mean, 1964 Chevrolet Chevy two Nova four door sedan. He used lowercase eyes for the two. Tell a lot of these guys post them up. Listed 14 weeks ago. Go to Indiana, punch in 64 Chevrolet Chevy. You'll find it. You always want to type out what you see in the description in that area car comes up it's still for sale if it doesn't then more than likely they sold it and deleted the ad it's amazing i have to say that but i do i don't say it enough that and watch old rounding them ups never hurts either because a lot of these cars on this up results we have way over 50 i think there's 56 cars on this search go back and count them all but we had like 90 so the ones have been posted for over a year we're not showing them again people have to repost their ads or update them this showing stuff listed over a year is just, just absurd. This is a cool '64. It's in Indiana. We're at wearing the money. Two grand. It's 1963 Chevrolet Nova listed a year ago. So this is a perfect example. There were so many I didn't even get them all. And it's one photo of the same. Shit. Just I'm not showing that stuff no more. 
1965 Chevrolet Nova in parentheses Chevy 2 $2,300 on the money 39 weeks ago Oklahoma I like the Kragers look like it run and drives then they pull the engine back out put twin turbos in it maybe you're getting it as a roller sure enough 65 Chevy Nova roller got a 350 turbo tranny 6 liter motor, twin turbos. Yep, that's what Dave's going to do with that four door. Oklahoma, been on here 39 weeks for two grand. Going to be a 64 Nova Chevy 2. 2,500 bucks two days ago, Arkansas. This one just went online. Those are some pretty nice looking aluminum wheels right there. Didn't look like trailer wheels, right? Not as much. I don't know, they might be trailer wheels. No, they're not. Those are some pretty nice looking wheels. Not exactly trailer wheels on that one. Got that real beautiful steering wheel in there. That's what you're looking for. It has no title. Four-door, no title. Arkansas posted for two days, 2,500 bucks. 1963 Chevrolet Nova, 2,500 bucks. I have showed this car in the past. It's the little clown car. I don't know, 2,500 bucks, looking for something different. Use it for advertising, maybe. It's cheap for a sign, 2,500 bucks, right? I say where it was at. It's in Georgia, so you're probably not getting a title. 1964 Chevrolet Nova listed 41 weeks ago, Liberty City, Ohio. They would only show like one or two cars are worth going and getting. This might be for the parts, right? It's 41 weeks, man. It's rotted bad. It's crazy what people ask for some cars these days. It just really is, and it's like 150 in the scrap metal, if that. Does he have a title, Vins? You have to check. It's Ohio. That's where that's at. It's a two-door 64 that looks extremely rough for $2,500. It'd be a 63 Chevy 2 Nova, $2,750 listed four weeks ago, Wisconsin. Steel body, been completely media blasted. There was no floors. Looking for a drag car body and don't mind spending $2,750 for the steel part right there. I don't know if you're getting all the fiberglass panels. No title. You're not getting a title with it. It's going to be a 63 Chevy Nova. Three grand we're out of the money now. Six weeks ago, Mississippi. Have one of those old truck bedsides bone bolted sitting on the back of it. Sitting in the weeds. Rather sell whole, but may part out. Three grand or best off. We've been here for six weeks, Mississippi. For the 63. There you go. I don't know how you see three grand. I mean, I get it. There might be a lot of little trimmings and parts on it, but man, I don't see any on there right off the hand that's going on in any show car. And it's three grand. I don't know. You know, 1962 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova. That's why some of these have been posted for 60, 60 weeks, right? Three grand, three days ago, Kentucky right here. Can't get there fast enough. Looking for a nice 62. Might be the nicest 62 we've seen so far. It's only been on here for three days, Kentucky. I'll go ahead and spill the beans. I think our pick of the day is in Kentucky. So there's another one to go look at in Kentucky if you go check out the pick of the day. I like that. 62 Chevy Roller was going to be a drag car. And he does have Ventag and clear title in his name on this one. Boom, there you go. 1964 Chevrolet Nova, three grand, 49 weeks ago, Michigan. I don't know, just me. This don't look bad. Had some rallies on it. Three speed on the column. It's got the six cylinder in there. It's got a V8 in it, too. 49 weeks, Michigan. Selling for the in laws. It's all for good offer. It has a 283 in it. Three grand or best reasonable offer. This thing's got rallies with caps and stuff just sunk right into the ground. Michigan looking for one? 49 weeks, man. What do they take for this thing? 1500 bucks? They down to 1500 They still got that? There's one to inquire about. Michigan. Back to one of our Craigslist ads. We only had like five Craigslist ads. I deleted most of the duplicates that were on Marketplace as well. We're zooming out here. It's a 63 Nova two-door post. It's going to be in Arizona. It had some cool paint back on it in a day. Man, I want to paint something up like this again myself. Throw down some sick paint job. This thing had some cool paint on it at one time. 
That's an era that I definitely miss. 63 Nova, two-door post. Again, Arizona on that one. What a cool 63 sitting in the field. Does say clean title. Have the rear glass, comes with passenger quarter panel. On to another. Can be back to Facebook Marketplace. 1964 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova. 3500 bucks. Listed 15 weeks ago, Kansas. Man, this looks like a pretty decent car. A race car. Is that what you're looking for? 3500 bucks. Can't get there fast enough. 15 weeks. He hasn't sold that one. Incredible. Kansas. Looking for the race car shell. Man, found you one right there. Straight axle and everything already in it. Just getting yourself a tilt front end, right? 1964 Chevrolet Nova, 3900 bucks. 10 weeks ago, Illinois in this one. It's a wagon. Again, straight axled already. There's your back half sitting there. This looks like a great, great price. Motivated to sell, too. 3900 best offer. 10 weeks, Illinois for the wagon. Man, that's some cool stuff right there. Including those chrome wheels on the back. Give me a 62 Nova, two door, four grand. We're at. Three weeks ago, Maryland. Another nice looking 62. The big cow hood on it. Big studs on the back. All done up. Four grand. I think that's a good price, too. Wanting a cool Nova? I don't know if you're getting a title. If you're looking for a race car, boom, we found you one right here. Four grand. Again, been on here three weeks. 1962 Chevrolet Nova convertible, convertible. It's gonna be four grand, 37 weeks, California. Only one photo. So you'd have to look it up, reach out and contact them for more pictures. It says 4K or best offer. It's been on here 37 weeks, and I showed it anyway because it's a convertible drop top in California. 1963 Nova, 1962 Nova. It's 4,200 bucks, listed two weeks ago, in Washington. Boom! There's your pick of the day. Can't get there fast enough to buy both of these cars. Twenty-one fifty a piece. Boom. There's your pick. You're welcome. You found them here. I'm rounding them up. That's what we do. Is we find great cars that people are looking for. It's both titles, and both for forty-two hundred bucks. That's your pick. I don't always go through all the cars. This should have been my pick of the day right here. So we always show a lot of great deals. Just because I think this is the pick of the day, you know, somebody else might say, "Man, you got to go all the way to Washington State to get them if you're on the." East Coast, but if you're on the West Coast already, $4,200 two weeks ago, you're welcome, y'all. 66 Nova, four-door parts car, selling complete car. Well, it's 4300 for that. Just goes to show you can't get to that last one fast enough. Now, if you're looking for 66 parts, it's like a nice grill, nice headlight bezels, decent fenders. Might be a lot of good parts on that one. It's 4300 bucks. It's Virginia. We have 67 Nova Four Door. It says in stock listed. Arkansas 4500. Don't tell us how long. It's another 67. So 66s, 67s definitely go for more money. If you're looking for parts for one, that one looks complete. It's a four door. All together. I dig that. Give me a 1964 Nova Two Deuce V8 Auto Four Shift. That's how he typed out his description and the title. 4500 bucks, West Virginia with only one photo and I showed it so you'd have to look it up reach out it says runs and drives it's a rat project it is a four-door so back to Craigslist for another one 1962 Chevy 100 two-door post Nova sedan that's how he typed it up it's gonna be located in Utah I was gonna say only one photo but no he's got a book of photos here like the hubcaps on it. Black paint. Got some holes you can see Bondo fell out of. Looks all together. It looks rough. Price is $4,900 for that project car right there. Utah. And it says clean title right there. Posted eight days ago. Chevrolet Chevy Nova. Wagon No. We've showed this car in the past. Five grand. It's been here for 50 weeks. He still hasn't sold it. Either that or he didn't delete the ad. So that's the case a lot of times. You watch roll around on the mubs. Some of them cars are still out there. Because I still find them. I just don't show stuff usually that's a year old or 50 weeks. 
again. 1965 Chevrolet Classic Chevy two-door Nova. Actually, all the old ads make it really hard to show stuff that's currently for sale because it's hard to say if it's just a deleted account. They never deleted this listing. I don't know how it works. I just know we see stuff two, three years old on Marketplace, which is just ridiculous. Makes it hard to find the cars to bring them to show people. Listed 31 weeks ago, Arkansas. It's up on a flatbed, then it's sitting in a garage. No rear end in it. Maybe, maybe not. It's going to be hard to load if it don't have a rear end in it. it. does say clean title. I like the sounds of that, but wow. No interior, no seats. does have a title. Came with the rear end. But I found one out of a 63, 64 to go with it. No motor, no trans. Just seems like a lot of money. Five grand, 31 weeks. I can't be the only one that feels that way. Looks like you put a rear end in it, but... There it is. 1963 Chevy Nova. Five grand, we're adding the money. Arizona. I like the Craigers. It's a four-door. Looks all complete. Don't look like a bad car at all. This thing looks pretty decent. Three-speed on the tree. So even though it's a six-cylinder, it's going to be a blast to drive. Eight weeks ago, Arizona on that one. Can't get there fast enough. Looking for a nice 63. Four-door, boom. Found it for you right there. 1962 Chevrolet Nova 2. Got lowercase eyes for the two. Five grand, Texas. Says he has three. Have three of the Nova 2s. They're all rollers. One has a title. Prices for each. Or best offer. So you heard that right. There's three of them out here. And you can buy them all for five grand a piece. Their best offer. 49 weeks. He hasn't sold any of them. Texas. 1962 Chevrolet Nova. Five grand. 33 weeks, Washington. It's just 33 weeks. Has not sold it. Looks like it's got four link rear in it. Yeah. What they got wheels not. 496 engine turbo trans. This thing sounds like a beast. For a cool one to go look at, Washington. 33 weeks on that car. It's been listed. 1963 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova. 5500 bucks. Listed a week ago in New York. Looking for a convertible? Boom. Found you one right here. Probably don't have a title because they didn't issue titles till 1970. I just, <laughs> I, I, it's every other ad. I hear it. Either somebody puts it in the messages on the videos. That, Brian, you don't have to have a title. I like this one. It's pretty solid. It's a convertible. 63. 5,500 bucks. I want to check that out. Looking for a convertible. Back to Craigslist, 1963 Nova SS convertible clean title. I like the sounds of the SS, right? For a Super Sport, six under in it. Found you one right here. The first Super Sport. It's going to be in Texas. That last convertible was really nice. Were these the same year convertibles? They were. So there you go. Want a pair of convertibles? Probably get them both for ten grand, right? How much is it going to cost to get them home? This one was California, and that last one was New York. I say I like the one in Texas. Need it gone. Clean title, it says, too. 63 Chevy 2, 6500 bucks two weeks ago, Georgia. Got some real pretty chrome trailer wheels on that one shot right there. Them are some nice looking trailer wheels. Two speed factory trans. It's got power glider in it. 350 4 volt. Built for it, but he hasn't put it in there yet. I like the yellow. It's pretty cool. 63 is what you're looking for. Two door, two weeks ago, Georgia. 6500 on the money. We're getting up there in the money, right? 1964 Chevrolet Nova. 6500 bucks. Seven weeks ago, California. like the rally wheels. like that it's a two-door. I like that the glass is out and it's sitting inside the garage, not out in the field. It's not a bad-looking car. It's got good sheet metal. I mean, 6500 It's getting to be expensive for a project. And, man, I'm seeing a lot of stuff missing. That's me. That's what you're looking for. Boom. California, who might tell you how much to spend on your Chevy Nova? 1963 Chevrolet Nova, 6,500 bucks. This one's Michigan. Still got the six under it. Looks like this thing could possibly run and drive. It's a four door. Pretty decent looking car. Rest me resale red, your color. Looking for a four door Michigan. It's been here for 18 weeks for the 63. 1967 Chevrolet Nova, 6900 bucks. This one's real nice. White with the blue top, blue interior. All together. On a dash air. Still got that six-cylinder, three-speed on the column, right? This is an automatic. 
This one is an automatic. It's probably got your two-speed power glider gun. Runs and drives good. I think I've showed this car in the past. It's still got it listed. 1962 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova 7500 posted a day ago. So the most recently posted car on the whole search, this is going to be it. They put a floor hump in there for the four-speed on the floor. like the looks of that, and this car looks great. Virginia, listed one day ago, $7,500 for that project car. Man, it's expensive for a project car that you know was a six-cylinder, right? I mean, 1963 Chevrolet Nova Chevy 2, 79.95. Six weeks ago, Maine. I like the wheels. It's those aluminum slots I always talk about. And you can tell someone's put some hours on wet sanding and buffing the backs. That's why I like these wheels as much as I do. It's because you can really make them look nice with a little bit of TLC, elbow grease, right? Break out the buffer, some wet sanding. It's got the wheel well headers on it. This thing's cool. At uh, eight grand though, I don't know. Three fifty four volt, some high performance parts. Three fifty automatic transmission. He didn't mention nothing about a title, and he wants almost eight grand for this one. It was Maine. It's a nice looking car. Nineteen sixty five Chevrolet Chevy two Nova Chevy two. Eight grand a year ago. Man, I thought I deleted off all these cars from a year ago. I'm just gonna show it. I don't remember showing it in the past. Damn, man, how is it not sold in a year? Eight grand, that's why, because it's overpriced, right? I'm not the only one that feels that way, or it would be sold. 1965 Chevrolet Nova SS, eight grand, 48 weeks ago. Throughout deleting up all the ones I deleted, I've had to delete more that were over a year, so I'll probably leave that one in this search. But we did find way more than 56 cars, and during this search, I've deleted another four or five, so we're just over 50 cars still in this results. 48 weeks ago. <laughs> it wasn't posted yesterday either, right? Got a big holly on there. Dual feed line. Headers going through the wheel wells. Excel coil in there. It looks pretty solid. Looks like a pretty decent car. Eight grand though? You tell me. Got some SS emblems on there still. 65 Chevy Nova SS asking eight grand or best offer. Has 327 with a four speed manual transmission. So I guess if I was going to spend eight grand, here's the one I want. It's been here for 48 weeks in California. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Why is that one still out there? It's going to be a 63 Chevy Nova. Eight grand again on the money. Listed five weeks ago. This one's in Ohio. I like those center caps they put on the rallies. This thing's really clean. And it's a running driving car. I'd imagine. Eight grand. And we're getting up into some good money. You should be able to take it to the car show by now, right? Not hardly. This little first-gen Nova has really brought a lot of money over the last two decades. It's skyrocketed in prices. I, myself, have always liked the second-gen better. If you're looking for a four-door, it sounds really good, looks great. Found you one right there in Ohio. He marked it down from 10 5 to 8 He's dropped down quite a bit of money. 64 Chevrolet Nova 2 SS, 8500 on the money. Minnesota. I would rather have the SS two door with the six cylinder than a four door with the V eight. I don't know, I'd have to change that. Unless it's a manual on the column. I could leave that six cylinder, I guess. Thirty two weeks, eighty five hundred seems overpriced for a six cylinder car to me, but it's a true super sport, I I don't know. You tell me how rare was it? Nineteen sixty six Chevrolet Nova Wagon, eighty five hundred on the money. This car does look great. Some nice looking wheels. Decent set of Craigers on it. It's a decent looking car. Just, man, it's a lot of money. See it, 8500 for that. California. It's been listed for 13 weeks. 1963 Chevy Nova Convertible and a 67 Mustang. Hundreds of parts and ones SS. Like the slots you got crammed in the trunk. Lots of bumpers, fenders, doors. Holy cow, is that all Nova? Check them out. Looking for Nova parts? Found your Nova hoarder right here. It's going to be California. And he is stacked on the parts. Plus you got that Mustang. Needs fastback roof put on. $8,700. I don't know if you're getting the whole hoarder or not. You have to read him out. It's been here for three days. He updated the ad. It's been here for 21. Three weeks. He just updated the ad three days ago. 
I mean, a 65 Chevy 2 Nova, nine grand in stock. Doesn't say how long it's been on here. Four door, four speed manual, straight six. Got the aluminum trailer wheels. Look like brand new with the chrome club. I don't know. Let's hear the six cylinder. It's running. Sound like a sewing machine. Well, when it sounds like a sewing machine, we found it. Nine grand, California. It's been here for a while with some brand new, fresh out of the box trailer wheels. We had 1965 Chevrolet Nova Wagon, 9,500 on the money. We're in Texas. I like the rallies on it. It's a nice looking car. I don't know if it's Red Ox Primer or Burn Orange Paint. Might be the original Burn Orange. It's not a bad looking car. 9,500, no way. But that's me. If you're looking for a wagon, Texas, we found you one right there. Been here 19 weeks. It's gonna be another wagon. 1965 Chevrolet Nova Station wagon. We're at 98.50 on the money listed 19 weeks ago. It's gonna be New York. It's not a bad looking car except for that air cleaner. So knew we'd see one. When you search almost 60 cars, you're bound to see one. But on a 90, 850 car. I hear a lot of times, Brian, it's for clearance. They can't close the hood. If you got to run an air cleaner like this because it won't clear your hood, hear me, hear me well. It's time for a hood scoop because this thing right here is the most dangerous thing that you could buy aftermarket and put on your car. It doesn't even look like it's got the name brand on there. So this is some knockoff. You watch rounding them up all the time. Fire, Mar Fire Marshal Bryant's here to tell you all about it. This thing is the most worst thing you could buy and put underneath your car. So, you got somebody you don't like? Gift them one of these for Christmas. You want to know why? Go back and watch old rounding them up until you find an episode with one of those on there. Fire, Fire Marshal Bryant. I think that's how it was said in the comments. Is I knew old Fire Marshal Bryant would be on the job telling you that you can't throw that shit away fast enough. So, we had one. We were almost through this episode. No way I'd buy that car after seeing that air cleaner on there. Gonna be a 1964 Chevrolet Nova Street Strip fully built, 9,900. There's your pick of the day. If you want a drag car, we found you one. You're welcome. It's in PA. It's been here for three weeks. Some big wheels on it. It's big tires, right? It is a full race car. If you're getting a title or not, but you're not going to need one. Nope. Not for that one, you're not. It's got a nice description on there. It's got a power glide automatic in it. It looks pretty badass. Oh, he's ticking a little bit. Some donut wheels on the front. I like the clearance they put for the carburetor. That's kind of like what you're supposed to do. Not go buy some air cleaner and catch a car on fire. Just put a hood scoop on it. Don't sound bad. How long has this been on here? Three weeks. PA. For a race car. Something to rebuild over the winter. Take out to the track fresh next year. Boom. Found it for you. Just under 10 grand. left in it pretty decent looking car right for a race car boom you're welcome on our last craigslist ad can be his 1963 chevy nova 10 grand so we are out of cut off on the money it's going to be california it's another race car might be cooler than that last one it's got dual fours on it i dig that with real cool air cleaners at least one had one, right? Like the Kragers too. It's a cool car. Ten grand. Still needs paint. Put back together, but it's pro street. It's definitely cool. Got like four, three more here before the pick of the day. 1963 Chevrolet Nova. Ten grand. Three weeks ago, California on this one. It's the same car. So you can see how I showed you both platforms. It was on Craigslist. Then it was on Facebook Marketplace. And usually I delete off the Craigslist. I just missed the duplicate ad. My bad on that one. So we've got two more before the pick of the day. 1963 Chevrolet Classic Sedan 4D, 10 grand, 27 weeks ago, Tennessee. 
I love the air cleaner, man. I've never heard about one of these catching on fire. Want yourself a nice air cleaner? There's one right there. This thing runs 10 grand, it should, right? Tennessee, 27 weeks ago. And it'd be fun as hell pulling up beside it. Pulling the paint off the side of it with a four door Nova. I like it. It's Tennessee and it definitely sounded good. So one more here before my pick of the day. 65 Nova SS. 10 grand Arizona. Holy crap, man. Was that what it looked like? Was crashed? And he's still wanting 10 grand? Dude, get over it. You ain't getting 10 grand for that. And some people, I can't make up what people ask for stuff, man. I'm not, it's not my car. It looked like it was worth 10 grand right here. It don't even look like it's worth 50 bucks. On <laughs> that crush photo. Ah, uh, there it is. Something you're interested in. Arizona, man. It, there ain't no way. Hopefully everybody's all right from that. So here's my pick of the day. 1967 Chevrolet Chevy 2. Five grand. 17 weeks ago. So it's been here for 17 weeks. I don't know if I've showed it in the past. And if I did, I probably made it to pick of the day then. So for five grand for the 67. That's the one I would go check out. It's Kentucky. Kentucky got to pick. Are you getting a title with it? I don't know, but you're getting that straight axle right there. Four-speed hump right there with it, right? Barn Fine Nova, solid frame rails. Needs bottom quarters, floor pans. Comes with straight axle front end, disc brakes, and V8 oil pan. Georgetown, Kentucky. Come from an estate sailor looking for the title, but no guarantee. So, I don't know if they got a title yet or not. It's been 17 weeks. It's been posted on here. That's my pick of the day. That's probably the best deal we found on the 67 on this episode. But there was a lot of cool cars on here, a lot of cool picks. Plan on doing a Thanksgiving Day marathon. Feel free to join us for some gobble gobble and lots of cars to feast on for sale. So we're going to hit a bunch of uh, subscribers requests. So if you don't catch us tomorrow for our Thanksgiving Day marathon, you all have a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you spend some time with some family and friends, loved ones. Until next time, be good, stay safe, and peace out. I mean, 1965 Chevrolet Nova in parentheses. In parentheses? Fuck. 1964 Chevrolet Nova. That car probably don't even exist anymore. How long ago was this? 19 weeks. It's probably already burned to the ground. 1964 Chevrolet Nova Street Strip. Fully built. $9,900. Can't get there fast enough. Coolest race car on our search. You found it here. Round them up. That's what happens. When, you're, when your carburetor doesn't clear the hood, here's how you fix it. You don't buy some air cleaner that's going to catch on fire and burn your car to the ground. You put a hood scoop on it. So, there's how you fix your hood clearance right there.